Hello everyone, my name is Amari Brazil and I am a BFA candidate with a concentration in painting. Today I would like to share with you my senior thesis work and a little bit about my process in creating this work. The title of my work is Sui Generis, which is defined to be unique. In my artistic practice, I found that being a black woman artist in itself is inherently political. I feel that sometimes in making artwork, I'm expected to make work regarding oppression because of the rich history of slavery and civil rights that is associated with being black. It gets tiring sometimes having your existence politicized. Instead, for this collection of work, I have chosen to celebrate the differences and in individuality of people in the black community, specifically my family. Within my artwork, I like to play around with cartoony-like imagery. Within my artistic journey, I was drawn to comics and illustrations that show emotion in very different ways than what realism could show. These are my pieces displayed in the Rutledge Gallery at Winthrop University. I have five individual pieces that are made of plywood and have acrylic paint on them. Some of them are connected by string and they are hung on the wall in a way as to cast a shadow behind them. Here's a few close-ups of them and some detail shots. When conceptualizing this work, I was thinking about working on a different substrate than what I had been working the previous semester. I was getting really bored of working on a rectangular and square shaped canvases, so I decided to go out of my comfort zone and think about different shapes to actually work on and tailor the imagery to the shapes. This here doesn't look exactly unique, but with playing around with digital processes like drawing on an iPad, I found different ways to play around with the shape and quality of it. Within my artistic practice, I do like using technology a lot. I like to doodle and draw on a iPad as a quick way to jot down ideas and quickly transcribe these kind of shapes and colors down instead of pulling out paint and making the process longer in order to study things. So in creating this work, I decided to get the idea to pull from organic shapes that I found in previous work that I created. This is a image selection from my photo of a previous piece of work that I created. And I used my iPad to play around with imagery and tailor some of this cartoon-like quality onto it using digital processes. At this point in my process, I am starting to play around with cardboard in order to create these shapes. One thing that I found was that even though I had something drawn out on my tablet, it would translate differently whenever I brought it into a more tangible sense. I would add openings, I would slice corners off, I would stack pieces. Colors would get changed differently than how they translate in a digital space, which I found very interesting in the way that my concept transformed from conception to actual test out and playing around with it. In my continued research for this project, I decided to reach out specifically to five family members and ask them things about what they like to do what colors they're drawn to, just things about their personality that give a sense of them. Some of my family members were drawn to some of the same colors, so I would build color palettes around them. 
One member of my family, however, was a bit difficult to think about the color palette because she's a seamstress and in her own words, she told me that having a color preference would hinder her job. So in creating a palette for her, I had to think about how I felt towards her or things that reminded me of her. So I also utilized a new process this semester in creating this work. I used the laser cutter in the creator space at Winthrop. In creating this work, I had to use Adobe Illustrator and create the actual shapes that I plan to cut out and have the machine transcribe them onto the laser cutter bed in order to cut them out with crisp edges. Here's some photos of my in process work. I like to experiment with different ways to apply paint. So for some of this work, I used what are called Posca markers, which are these very highly pigmented paint markers that really work on any kind of substrate, glass, wood. They were very helpful for getting smaller details within my work. And I would hang them on the back wall of my studio in order to see how the colors and the imagery would talk to each other. Now I'll go into a little bit of detail about each specific piece and each of my family members that they relate to. This is my younger cousin, Miles. He is very much into tennis shoes and playing video games. And he is also an artist himself. He takes a lot after me. So I decided to add allusions to like video games by adding the buttons. I added the character on there, holding a shoe. Just small things that relate to his personality. This is my younger cousin, Kennedy. She told me that she also loves video games, but she is also a dancer. So I try to include imagery or things that allude to like, you know, clapping hands of a crowd or a dancer or spotlights, while also tying those two pieces together and adding video game buttons. This is my uncle named Daryl. He told me that he likes boxing, which was something that was very new to me. So I found a way to make the character inclusions look like they're about to have a boxing match. I also gave him a crown because there's an inside joke that when he visits my house that he's somehow the king of my home even though he lives elsewhere. These two pieces specifically, I was thinking about the shape quality in relation to the person. My mother's shape is a very odd and abstract and high heel because she's a very classy woman in my eyes. And it's an inside joke of her wanting me to put a very bedazzled heel on a t-shirt that I never got to. She is a business owner and she works for Landstar Trucking Company. So I also added illusions to that and how hardworking she is. And when it comes to my grandmother, in which I mentioned before, I had to choose a color palette for her. I decided to go with pink because she is a breast cancer survivor. I also added string inclusions and allusions to a favorite necklace that she likes to wear that I found in a lot of her photos. She's also a seamstress, as I mentioned, so I added string inclusions and things that relate to her artistic practice. Thank you for listening to my artist talk, and I hope everybody is doing well in these very crazy times. Thank you again.